Hello, welcome to another episode of Optics Theory Debates. Theodore and I will be today with Hello. you and we will discuss another topic. This time we'll talk about the differences between a sunshade and between a kill flash filter. This is better. Uh, now, um, I have uh, checked our email and I've uh, gathered some questions that we most commonly receive. And let's just start with the most obvious question, which is what is the difference between a sunshade and a kill flash filter? Well, a kill flash is made like a small honeycomb of, uh, I would say, small tubes stacked together. You can even do it by yourself at home with uh, straws. Uh, and it serves a very similar purpose than a sunshade, and that, it, that means that it uh, kills glare inside of the rifle scope. So if, you, if you're using the rifle scope on a bright sunny day and maybe the target is in the same direction as the sun is, never look with a scope towards the sun. This is the first rule. But if, if the direction is similar, you can find a lot of uh, unwanted optical problems in your scope. So this is glare. You see a star effect, you see a star effect in the, in the scope, you see a lot of strays of light and so on. And you can solve this with, a, with the use of a kill flash, which uh, is inserted at the front of the objective, uh, objective uh, bell. Uh, in front of the lens, oh, normally only on the scopes where, which feature objective threat, of course. And you need a specific, specific uh, sunshade for each scope, so it's not like one fits all. You need to find a, a, a perfect sunshade for which is meant for for your scope. It's not like uh, interchangeable. So with this additional part, with this you additional tube, uh, yes. You, you kill all the flare and all the stray light which enters the, the scope through the objective and this way you're getting a nicer image, uh, more pleasant to look at uh, with less optical artifacts. Well, the kill flash serves very, very similar, similar um, purpose and it's much shorter and also much more effective. This is what is really strange that even though it's shorter, it's much more effective, but normally it is much more expensive. Uh, the reason for this is that sun shades are usually used by sport shooters, uh, while kill flash is usually, or honeycombs are usually used by, by the professionals like the military or police, because not only that it helps you with glare and everything else, it also kills any flash which would uh, occur uh, due to the reflection of the light from your objective lens. That means you make sure with a kill flash that nobody sees you in the direction where you're looking at. This is especially useful normally in, in uh, I would say, tactical situations where you need to stay covered. And the kill flash is often referred to as honeycomb filter, right? Yeah. This is the same thing. The same thing. All this kill flash, uh, kill flash I think even it's a commercial uh, commercial name or it's maybe even a brand from Tenebrex and also Schmidt and Bender uses the term kill flash uh, everybody else uses the honeycomb filter this is the reality is this is a honeycomb filter but I think kill flash is a it's a trademark um, additionally what we can say also is that with, uh, we know that really advanced military equipment uh, also consists of uh, special equipment for uh, uh, searching of snipers so to, to pinpoint the coordinates where the sniper is located when the sniper is looking in your direction. And such devices also have problems with, with kill flash. If, if you're using a kill flash, that means that such a device will have a little bit more uh, bigger difficulties to find you. With a, with a sunshade, this is not true. So for tactical, professional use, kill, kill flash or honeycomb filters are a better choice. They're even more compact. For sport use, I think the sunshade is a better choice because it's much cheaper and does the same function. So basically, they serve the same purpose, Yeah. but kill flash is a little bit better and is therefore a little bit more expensive yeah. than the sunshade. Yeah, it's not a little bit more expensive. It's yeah. like three times, four times, five oh, times okay. more expensive. Yes, so yes, yes. If you are talking about 50 euros, we are talking here about 200 euros. So kill flash can easily be from 160 euros to 200 while most of the kill fla of the sun shades are let's say from 40 euros to 60 euros so the the price difference is huge 
So for sport, sunshade is an obvious choice. For professional military use, normally killfish is a must. You just covered everything that uh, I, I, I hope I did. <laughs> I, I, I sure hope too. Uh, but if Taylor forgot something or I forgot to ask something, uh, you can leave us a comment or send us an email. Um, if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye.